I was an extremely shy kid, weak, awkward, and lacking in confidence. I remember feeling uncomfortable around the other kids. Often I would try to make myself go unnoticed. I carried those feelings around for half a century. Then I discovered Pico Athletic Club. Through workouts with my personal trainer, I had been transformed into the athlete I always wanted to be. Strong, agile, and in touch with my body. I am healthier, happier, and more confident today, all because of my workouts at Pico Athletic Club. Pico Athletic Club, the definitive workout. This is Joy Paris with RichGoldNetwork.tv. We're here for the 44th Annual Nominees Awards Luncheon. So how do you feel about being nominated? I know it's a cliche question, but how do you feel? To be nominated in this category with these women, um, I'm happy to be nominated. <laughs> Those kind of scripts and roles don't come along that often. So when you read them, you, you just stop for a second, you know? And so to have the, the opportunity to actually play this role in the script was something I literally had always dreamed of, this kind of role, this kind of woman, you know? Um, so for me, it was just wonderful to be a part of it. What is the message you think that your character resonated for the audience? The message that I think that Ruby um, sends to, to people when they leave that theater is it's, she, she found herself as a result, you know what I mean? She went through something, found herself in the middle of nowhere, but she, was, she changed as a result of something. She had a particular viewpoint, a particular outlook, um, but, but she became changed from it. We've all had those situations where we find ourselves in something and we're like, how did this happen? But it's what you do. It, how do you get out of that situation? And you know, I believe she showed courage and tenacity and strength. And I think that's a wonderful message, message for women. You know, she found herself, she didn't make decisions based on what anyone else wanted, including her husband. And I think that that's a beautiful, beautiful message. She found herself. What kind of preparation did you do on a personal level? Um, my preparation, I mean, a lot of it was, for one, me knowing. I knew a couple women that had had this experience. Um, and then just my own experiences, not with, you know, incarceration, having a, you know, a, a husband in prison, but with what it feels like to, that, that sense of loneliness, you know, where um, you give your all to something and suddenly everything has changed. How do you go from there? I took those experiences and those moments and, and put them into, into Ruby as well. She did a great job, fantastic movie, fantastic writing, you know. She does an amazing job anyway, and she's incredible to work with. She does, she, she's, she's a gift to us, a gift in this industry, and I can't wait to see everything else that she does. I'm just happy that I was in on the ground floor <laughs> of it all with her. What are your thoughts about the NAACP and how do you see them making an impact for us in the future? You know, I've been, I, I was the president of my youth group, my youth chapter in NAACP in Leavenworth, Kansas. You know what I mean? When I was in high school. Um, so for me, NAACP has always been a part of my life. So that's what makes this nomination even, like, it, it just makes me, just gives me chills a little bit, you know, because my youth advisor was Raymond Parks and, you know, my guidance counselor. And, and they, they, you know, sheltered us all under their wings. And when I told her about this, because Mr. Parks has, has passed away, but when I told her about this, she was like, so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so MWCP has had a wonderful part of my life in shaping who I am as a person. Well deserved award, great acting, you did a fantastic job and I hope you win. Thank you, thank you. Have fun today. Thanks.